There was one morning where Mizana was doing her assignment and suddenly she thought of having her breakfast. Ah, uh, it's really tiring these days. Wait, let me have my breakfast first. Wow, my favorite half boiled egg and kacang pool. And Mizana continuously eating the kacang pool without knowing that the egg has spoiled. Later on, she keeps going in and out from the toilet because she's having a stomach ache. Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. Waalaikumsalam. Hi, waalaikumsalam. Oh. Waalaikumsalam. Waalaikumsalam. I swear this online distance learning is really torturing. Yeah, I know, right? How are you guys doing so far? So far, I'm still surviving. I thought I almost died last few days. Why you said that, Mizana? I had food poisoning. What? What did you eat? I had one half boiled egg last few days for my breakfast. I suspect the egg was spoiled. Oh, really? Talking about egg, do you know that it maybe has been contaminated with salmonella bacteria? I think that is the reason why you had food poisoning. Oh, I think I've heard about that bacteria, but I don't remember what it does. Mm, actually, salmonella is known as bacteria that can cause food poisoning. It can infect your gut and leads you to have diarrhea and sick. Even for some people that have weak immune systems, it can be life-threatening once it enters the bloodstream. Yes, I guess it's right. If you want to know if you have been infected with this salmonella bacteria, you will probably um, have nausea, vomiting, fever, chills, abdominal cramps, and sometimes there can be blood in your stool too. Oh, I see. No wonder I had all of the symptoms that day. My body was fully dehydrated all day. That's why I told you guys that I almost died that day. But my parents managed to bring me to the clinic. The doctor only advised me to drink a lot of plain water. Then he gave me some medications. There was one pack of tablet that helps my body to get hydrated back. But I don't know what it is. If I'm not mistaken, that one is Imodium capsule. It can be in the form of chewable tablets or dissolving tablets. It just helps you to make your stool become less watery so that your body won't continuously losing lots of water because it can be more dangerous than you expected, Ms. Aina. Saying about the danger of salmonella, do you guys ever think how dangerous this salmonella bacteria can be? As I said previously, it can be life-threatening once it enters the bloodstream. Um, I have read this one incident in the newspaper. It stated that a woman at the age of 25 was dead because of food poisoning by eating expired eggs. And there were like 99 victims from other 20 families were found to have food poisoning because of the spoiled eggs. They probably didn't know the eggs they had taken were not safe to be eaten anymore. But don't worry guys, there are always some precautions that, that we can do to prevent ourselves from getting infected with this bacterium. First, we need to wash our hands before and after we handle food items or before and after we eat some food. Secondly, our kitchen workspace should be clean for the food preparation. Next, don't simply consume untreated water because it's sure that the water is very contaminated with many bacteria and unwanted minerals that cannot be seen with our naked eyes. If let's say you're in a situation where you've been served undercooked meat and each in a restaurant, please do not hesitate to send it back to the kitchen for further cooking. As salmonella bacteria can be found many and 
in mid and age, please put them before eating. Last but not least, if it's necessary to clean out the leaf of fruits and vegetables, please do so. I wonder if salmonella bacteria can infect animals too. What I found on the internet, animals can get infected with salmonella through their environment by eating contaminated food or from their mothers before they are even born or hatched. Wow, this topic has brought us into a long chat. Nice info guys. It all started from me. There are so many knowledge that I came from our chat today and it's just about salmonella bacteria. Alright. See you guys again once this COVID-19 is over.